I'm Jason Bold and I'm at the Garden Studio in Shoreditch, East London, recording for an amazing project called Heavy Rock Drum Drops. And this consists of multi-tracks of basically drum compositions that you can use for your songs or to jam with, which are very high quality, and also some drum hits which have been recorded in amazing detail with a pristine sound in an incredible drum room. The drums that I've used for this project are Mapex Saturn drums and they're perfect for rock because they've got a slightly thinner shell that's made of walnut and the tone's very dark and they're very punchy and what's really helped the drums sing and um, get the best tone out of them is the heads that I'm using which are by a company called Evans and I'm using um, clear heads on top of the toms which are called G2s and they're incredible drum heads because they're they, they almost help EQ the drum. Um, on the bass drum I'm using a skin called an EMAD, which has a, a built-in dampening system into it. So the, the drums are really opening. There's no external muffling going on. The snare drums we've used, we've used three snare drums, two of which are really special because they're no longer available. One of them's a six and a half by 14 phosphor bronze snare, which has been hammered. And this has been our favorite snare, if you like, of the recordings. It's, uh, it's got a really fat tone to it with just the right amount of ring matched with a good transient as well. My name is Martin Ginge Ford. Um, uh, I'm a producer, engineer. This brilliant studio with all this lovely equipment, recording uh, Jace Bold, who's easily the best rock drummer in the UK. Um, and we're recording everything to tape via this uh, beautiful AT26 console. You know, that's the reason we're using tape, it gives it that classic sort of rock sound, which people are not really using these days. So recording and engineering, we've had Ginge, who's worked with bands like Bullet For My Valentine, Slipknot, Trivium, every metal band, rock band you can think of, really. And we've had Ben Thackeray Engineering, who's also engineered lots of bands. So two experienced heads to guide through the recording, which has been brilliant. We've got some lovely mics in the studio. We got, um, a pair of coals on the overheads, which are nice, smooth sounding ribbons. Then we got a classic, really old, expensive C12. In, I mean, you can't see it, but there's like a little, what we call the dungeon, which is under the archway out there, it's like a stone room. And we got the C12 out there, which sounds incredible. The way we recorded the hi hat was um, in a hell of a lot of detail. Um, we did the 12 velocity steps playing tip of the stick in the middle of the hat, like that. And then that times eight. And then the 12 velocity steps on the edge of the hat. So for regular grooving, and again, that times eight. And then three different stages of how open the hi-hat is. So slightly open, medium open, and then fully open. And then we also did the pedal as well. There's going to be a free, a free multi-track to download, um, which will will definitely mix that first, so it can get you know it can be up on the website and people can download it and check it out. I think what sets the quality of the heavy rock drum drops apart from most other things similar to this is the space in which we've recorded them because the room is incredibly unique it's really angled the ceiling's reasonably low but the drums instantly just sounded amazing um, it just seems to be like finely tuned for a great big drum sound 